Hey guys, Jim from Ezra Square here. Welcome to part 14 of the Takeoff Tutorials and the Getting Started series for Ezra Square 8. In this video, we will cover dividing floor into separate regions, which we could then use to add different types of products into one room without covering the whole room with one specific product. To do this, I'm going to use the divider tool under our shapes menu. I will left click to select this tool. I will be in a free draw like mode. And from here, I am going to start on the corner of this wall, left click, drag my mouse over, left click again, and I'll have drawn my first divider line. I will draw one more for example, a little left click here, drag my mouse down to the corresponding wall, left click, and now I've drawn my other divided area. I will right click to deselect the divider tool. Now you'll see this is still one room, but I have now three different areas within this room. Again, this will be helpful to add different products into this room. So if I add a area product into this room, it will stop at this divided line, and that goes for these areas as well. This is helpful if we have an open concept floor plan, such as a kitchen that flows into a living room, and two separate products meet in the middle of the room, and we don't want to draw that area as two separate rooms, we can use the divider line to separate those two separate products. We'll even be able to add any transition strips onto those divider lines as well. In the next video, I will show you how to split these divided areas into completely separate rooms.